Today, my friends, this Shelby 1000 has just been added to Forza Horizon 4. Hopefully, you're doing well. I guess without further ado, we need to unlock it. So let's click on it. And this is where we need to be. Now, I can promise you I did not build this car. We're just going to go through the three events to unlock it. And then we get to build, play, customize all this. No! No, I'm just doing the bare minimum. Highly skill is a requirement. And let's get it started. This is just a tune that I picked from the store, which is why it looks like this. And let's go. I think it's all-wheel drive. Probably a lot of these builds are... Yep. Yeah. And as you can clearly see, in a matter of seconds... I will have the new car. Uno, dos, tres. We've done it. That's all three. We unlock the brand new car. I say brand new. I, I, I want to say brand. I'm going to say new. The new car to Forza Horizon 4 at the very least. There it is. The Shelby 1000 has just been unlocked. There she is in the Shelby category. Pretty sick. Very special. Deliver it to me. I want to see. Oh, look at this car. Now... Honestly, this car looks... I'm going to say it looks basic. I've not seen this older style Mustang in such a long time. The back end looks so basic. So, so basic. I, like, the rest of it... You know, I'm not going to say it looks basic. I mean, you can tell it's a modified Stang from the era. But the back end... Why is the... I need to know. I need to know. Let me know down in the comments because we've got a carbon fiber piece just here to reduce weight and all this malarkey. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump into this car. This thing's supposed to be fast. I've heard it's quick and we're going to experience it for the first time together. Sounds like an old meaty muscle. It just definitely lines up the tires in the first three gears. Definitely feel the, the power kick in. Much more so later in the band. That is crazy. We got boost gauges and stuff. I could tell. I could tell the boost was kicking in later. You could clearly see it firsthand. That's what I like. That's what I like. To be honest with you, I was expecting this car to not be massively quick from the get-go. But to be fair, it's pulling pretty good. Considering we've not even touched the modifications on this car yet. Man, how, how would I get one of these? The boost is kind of ridiculous. So let's go... And now we get a bit of boost. It feels like the red line is sometimes where the boost has to kick in. I'm going to say over like six and a half grand before we get any proper boost on this thing. Mental. Just feels crazy. Okay. I guess without further ado, we can go inside and customize this car. We're going to see what we can come up with because uh, I'm, I'm pretty prepared to see that this is going to be a very quick car. Righty, righty, righty. We've got engine conversions. You can swap in another 7.2 liter V8 in case you want to. You can do a drivetrain swap. No aspiration conversions, at least on the standard engine. But we can do some cheeky upgrades to the supercharger if that is what you wish. I'm going to stick with the standard engine. The standard engine is meaty. It's beautiful. It's menacing. I definitely want to see what we can get out of this car in its current engine form. Now, put all the pieces into the engine bay. If we swap in the 7.2 V8, we lose 300 horsepower. But speed is the only one that actually degrades. Interesting. So, there may be some use in putting the other engine in. But I'm just going to do it all cool-like. We're going to keep it super clean. And we're just going to have a nice new upgraded version of this. Now, I think this car was in the first Horizon game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I, th I believe that's what people have been saying. And I, again, I haven't played through that game. And I, I, I need to, to be honest with you. I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I haven't. I feel like we should get to it. So maybe, maybe, maybe we will do that at some point. We can do a Wang removal. No, thank you. Or, or we can have a street bonnet. And that... I like that more. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. We're doing the Delphi. I'm sorry. Now, I know for a fact that this is going to be horrendous currently. We've not done any tuning whatsoever, and therefore, it's just going to slide literally everywhere. Hopefully, the thicker tires at the back and the upgraded tires will help just a little bit, but I really don't think... I don't think it's going to do very much to it. All right. Are we ready? Let's set off. Warm up the tires a little bit. <laughs> the tires are actually gripping quite a lot more. All right, and go. Yeah, it's still so laggy. And tires. 
Uh, to be fair, we're gripping up a little bit now. Why is the steering so sharp? Oh, oh it's swaying. The tires aren't thick enough. They need to be thicker. Oh. Yeah, we need to soften those tires up. Because this thing needs that so bad. I put the race tires on, but it's handling like I even know what. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. We're going we're gonna to tune you. Don't worry. We're going to put you all the way to low. Is this necessary? Completely not at all. The speed already, though, is quite high up there. Do some little changes there, just because I know uh, the first couple gears, at the very least, are really a little bit stupid. We're going to try again, okay? We're going to keep running until I get this right. Still just lighting up those tires. Second gear bogged down like crazy. We're going... <laughs> 160 miles an hour. Oh, it's still swaying. In second gear. Holy crap. This is quick. This is very, very quick. We're only... That mini's in my way. Come on. Stop swaying. Oh my god. There's no control over the front. Once you're going at speed. Shift into fifth gear. Have we got any more in it? I know for sure we have. It's trying its best. Oh, <laughs> it just lights up the tires. This this needs so. Uh, I need to fix it. This is just a monster of a machine. Please just stop spin. Stop the spin. Just have a little bit of control. We need straight line speed for this thing. I really am going to switch to all-wheel drive in a minute because this is just ridiculous. I'm, I just can't stop slipping. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, mini! This is the fastest we've gone yet, I think. Shifting was not the best idea. <laughs> all right, we're doing it. Cheeky bit of all-wheel drive. That should surely make it so much easier to get to the top speed or close to it. I'm pretty sure rear-wheel drive you probably get a little bit more. This is going to be so much better. I can already tell. Let's go. Wheel spinning, but keeping the traction this time. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This time, we're putting the power down. This is what you want to see. 220 going into the tunnel. Careful. Shift into sixth gear. I don't think we had to really do that before, but... Come on, baby. Give me some speed. Give me some power. 250. Come on. 250, I'm, so, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. 251. Oh, that's a three. You know what? Totally worth it. I know there's people out there that are definitely going to do some awesome tunes for this car. The car just came out, so unfortunately I can't show you those right now. But I'm definitely going to be playing with those, and I'm sure you guys will too. Super easy car to unlock. Recommend you get it. When they're easy, do it easy. Properly. But it may do it. It's so easy to flick this thing, though. Like, watch. It just wants to keep it on straight. It's like a train now. Even when it's sideways, it's like, nah, 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 nah. You made me go straight, I go straight. Of course, something I've yet to do is put a livery onto this car. So I think this blue and white may be the way I go. Let's see the, the, the material of it. I'm not really much of a metallic person, as you probably know. So, hopefully you'll be a more of a glow. Oh, now that is what I'm talking about. That is a nice blue. I don't know if that's a gloss, but it's got like a, a flake in it almost. Either that or the paint is not very good. But, hey, it looks pretty cool. We got these wheels on it, which again, I probably want to change. Just to give it a little, little bit more spice. I was genuinely ready for all these wheels to be heavier. Like, especially all the fancy ones. But they're, they're not. <laughs> these old wheels weigh so much. That you can put basically anything on. And you're going to have a lighter whip. While there's no super refined tunes, there are tunes with the other engine setups that have 1900 horsepower or well, 1876 so rounding up 1900 horsepower is that some of the most power in this game that is insane so of course we're going to give one of those a go this is x class x99 we're going to do it it's definitely going to be the best but we're going to try it would just be wrong to not give it a blast in the highest amount of horsepower so 
Okay, it sounds so much worse. In the tunnel, it sounds a little bit better. Oh my god, it just wants to pull. I think we fixed the sliding. Uh, I, I haven't. This tune has fixed the sliding of this car. But can we actually get any faster? He says that he's already blitzing past what was set before. Oh man, I've got no gears left. Oh my god, two and this could go more. This could go so much more. Damn. That is quick. I guess we're going to have to wait for the, the proper tunes to start coming out. But that for a first... Holy crap. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on this car down below. Are you unlocked it? Are you not going to get it? What's your opinion? Smash like, subscribe if you know. And I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.